The skyrocketing cost of living is difficult for both people who've lived in Canada for a long time and for newcomers. That means some people who chose to move to this country are now making other plans. CTV's Jumi Ogunshola reports tonight on the difficult decisions some immigrants are now making to leave. Walking along the seawall, Malika Azizi appears to have a great life. But there's something on her mind. I'm sad even thinking about it, but like, it's a kind of must thing I feel now. Azizi arrived in Vancouver from Iran six years ago, but now she's seriously considering packing it up and moving on. Every move that we want to make, the first and the only thing about is money. But there's more. I was an architect back in my home country. I went through the certifications. But now, Azizi is an intern architect. By the end of this year, Canada will have welcomed more than 450,000 new permanent residents, like Azizi, with some form of foreign work experience. BC absorbs an estimated 20% of those numbers each year. But the system makes it difficult for most newcomers to transfer their foreign experience. A recent report is now highlighting a growing problem. Onward migration from Canada has jumped 31% in recent years. Aziz's story is not unique. Jack Strange moved to Vancouver from the UK about two years ago. He was very excited about the life ahead until he wasn't. I was skipping meals, basically, because I was struggling to afford my, my food and my rent. He is now back home. So where is the Canadian dream for newcomers? Coming to Canada, purchasing a home, raising their families here, and that's definitely been brought into question. The number of people leaving Canada is pale in comparison to those arriving, but over time it adds up. We're going to continue to experience these, um, these issues with filling the labour needs. For many, including Malika Azizi, their Canadian dream is now neatly parked into their suitcase, waiting for the onward journey. It's just sad. I think I wasted my life, kind of. Jimmy Ogunchala, CTV News.